the first point that I would like to cover is product demonstration. Most of the physical automobile products are very much limited to showrooms and certain events. YouTube builds a platform where the customer can actually see its product in action well before buying it. The second point is creation of communities. Since the use of a bike or a car is much more than just a commute from home to office, YouTube helps in building communities like motor vloggers, explorers, travelers, which find their way straight into the heart of the young enthusiasts and motivate many others. YouTube helps in showing the true personality of a product since advertisements of television and other platforms are meant to be short and precise. YouTube helps in building a platform where the manufacturer can actually establish the real motive and the driving passion behind the development of a product. To, to prove what I mean to say, you can just check out the YouTube channel of TVS for the Apache RR310S, the videos that they have uploaded for the hardships that are involved for designing and manufacturing of the product, or for this fact FZ25 and so on. This helps in building a psychological relation between the makers and the consumers and to help the consumers respect their product much better. YouTube does help in solving certain problems or technical problems involved in the day-to-day -day life. Many bloggers and technical experts are sharing video content by explaining certain technical defaults involved in the automobile sector. YouTube proves to be a platform where an ordinary person with minimal knowledge dives into the vast sea of technical data which he can incorporate bit by bit to improve its knowledge and understanding about the product. So we are here with uh, Mr. Jason. He is the branch manager of Enzin Motors, Kawasaki. Uh, Mr. Jason, my first question for you. Do you think that creating, watching and sharing the right YouTube content affect the sales of premium bike in India? Yes, it makes a lot of difference because uh, nowadays a lot of our customers are young and uh, they are very active on social media. Mm -hmm. So that's why all these uh, YouTube channels, YouTube bloggers, all this makes a difference in uh, their reviews about the bike. All right. Uh, the next question is that, are you aware of the channel Power Drift? Yes, I'm quite aware of it. Do you think that they are justifying their work in the industry? Yes, they do good, uh, a good job. Their reviews are good and the bikes they review also good. All right. All right. Thank you very much. So, so we are here with Mr. Kobad. And my first question for you is, do you think that sharing and making the right YouTube content affect the choice while selecting a bike? Oh yes, definitely, because at least uh, people will come to know what are different types of bikes in the market, what um, uh, best pricing are they offering, what accessories they are offering, and what is the performance and road stability, looking at our bad roads that we have got. So all that does make a difference. Uh, are you aware of this channel, Power Drift on YouTube? No, I'm sorry, but I'll be candid, but I don't know about this channel. In fact, you are the first time who's coming and telling me this. But I'll definitely go home in the evening and look it up what it is. And right. let's see where it takes me. So we are here with Mr. Vishal. Uh, he is the owner of a Kawasaki bike. So my first question for you, Mr. Vishal. Do you think that making and watching the right YouTube content affect the motoring scenario that is evol evolving in India? Yes, absolutely it does. It does. It, right? it influences basically. It influences uh, the decision making. It influences. It gives a lot of uh, insight about the product. Okay. Because uh, uh, if you talk about these Kawasaki bikes, I mean they're not. I mean they're not that. Uh, they're, they're quite expensive basically. Right, right, right. So you need to uh, go through a lot of views on uh, YouTube. Research, yeah. Right? yeah. Uh, I personally went through a lot of uh, YouTube content uh, about and the reviews and the comments mentioned on the videos basically right. before I took a decision. So it means that your uh, decision was a bit affected by YouTube, right? See, uh, yeah, it, it helps you to take that decision. See, Kawasaki as a brand does not need any, uh, they don't need to market themselves. Right. That's point number one. So once you boil down on the, the kind of bike which you need in, your, in the kind of budget you have, 
all you need to do is do some basic research and development on the bike on the technical technical specifications of the bike or the uh, reviews mentioned by uh, the other guys uh, on on the on the on the website uh it influences i would say uh, 30 to 40 percent of influences from from, from the youtube my last question for you uh, are you aware of this channel power drift yes yeah. i watch videos of power yeah. drift here so uh, do you think that they are doing the right job that they should yes, yes absolutely yes absolutely, absolutely. i i am quite uh, I'm, a, i'm a serious follower basically so i normally take their set, whatever they are so we are here with mr arun and the banali showroom uh, so mr arun my first question for you uh do you think that making sharing the right youtube content affect the sales of premium bike in india yes very much it affects as in today's uh, the young generations what they are doing the ridings bloggers and everyone they likes to go on the youtube channels they follow they see other social networking and through that we get many reviews and we promote and we get a good business accordingly okay. so my second question for you uh, are you aware of the channel power drift Yeah, very well. I'm aware with the power drift. Yeah, okay. And uh, do you think that they are doing the right job in the industry? Yeah, they are doing uh, quite good. So we are here with Mr. Romil. Uh, he just bought a Triumph motorcycle. So Mr. Uh, Romil, welcome. My first question for you: Do you think that creating and watching the right YouTube content affect the sales of premium bike in India? I think it certainly will, or certainly has an impact to a certain extent. But I don't think. it's the content that drives people to buy stuff it's their intent but i think what really helps would probably be the fact that people do come to aware of i mean they become aware of the brands that are there and what they have to offer so are you aware of the channel power drift yeah i do actually i watched power drift videos a lot and i i keep commenting them about how the production quality has become awesome and i really appreciate the work you're doing okay yeah okay. so uh, so do you think that the power drift is really contributing the right thing in absolutely, this absolutely i think absolutely without doubt It's a fantastic stuff coming up from Power Drift and good stuff. Uh, we have with us Mr. Sandeep Shukla. Thank you for joining us. My first question is for you: Do online content that is made on YouTube videos, to create, to share, to see, do these types of activities have an effect on sales in the automobile industry? डेफिनेटली पड़ता है डेफिनेटली पड़ता है पीपल आर बिकमिंग मोर अवेयर अबाउट द प्रोडक्ट स्पेसिफिकेशंस एंड वट कंपेरेटिवली अदर कंटेंडर्स और डिफरेंट कंपनीज आर ऑफरिंग टू द कस्टमर्स पीपल नाउ डायग्नाइज और एनालाइज दैट वेरी वेल एंड दे गेट द राइट प्रोडक्ट बिकॉज ऑफ दिस ओके ओके सो द नेक्स्ट क्वेश्चन इज आर यू अवेयर ऑफ दिस चैनल पावर ड्रिफ्ट ऑन यूट्यूब Yeah, I have heard about it a lot. I don't follow actually, but I don't miss any videos because the reviews on this channel they are the best compared in the industry. I have seen other companies' reviews also, but they are like just they are doing something. But Power Drift gives you up to the core. Yes, yes. Uh, so, uh, according to you, is Power Drift justifying the purpose of YouTube? Is it the right channel in the streamline? Yes, definitely. Not only justifying, it is. Uh, like miles ahead of uh, other competitors and it gives exactly what the customer wants hum yahan par hai mr nilesh joshi ke sath jinhone abhi yamaha ka ek bike kharida hai to nilesh ji main aapse pehla sawal puchna chahunga ke ye bike kharidne mein aapne kahan par search kiya tha online kya online bhagedari thi searching mein aapke selection mein ji ji bilkul online maine search kiya tha via google aur usme maine ye bike search ki तो मुझे मॉडल और सब अच्छा लगा तो आ, क्या आपका मानना है कि ऑनलाइन जो रिव्यूज़ आ रहे हैं बाइक के और जो भी हमको डेटा मिल रहा है वो हमें आ, अपनी पसंद की बाइक खरीदने में मदद कर देता है जी बिल्कुल हंड्रेड परसेंट तो एक और चीज़ आपसे पूछना चाहूँगा कि यूट्यूब पर एक चैनल है पावर ड्रिफ्ट नाम का क्या आपके चैनल के बारे में कुछ आइडिया है नहीं अभी तक तो नहीं है पर आपके थ्रू ही मैंने सबसे पहले जानकारी ली है इसकी तो सर ये चैनल भी बाइक्स के ऊपर रिव्यूज़ देता है गेयरलेस से लेके गेयर के ऊपर तो आप चाहें तो ज़रूर इसे देख सकते हैं बिल्कुल अब तो देखना ही पड़ेगा थैंक यू वेरी मच थैंक यू आस्टिंग द फर्स्ट क्वेश्चन वॉज अ जर्नी इन इट सेल्फ आई एम ऑलरेडी सो मच एग्जॉस्टेड आफ्टर ऑल द जर्नी एंड द इंटरव्यू दट आई डोंट थिंक आई एम गोइंग टू राइट एनी स्क्रिप्ट फॉर द सेकेंड आंसर द क्वेश्चन इज has power drift influenced the motoring scenario in india so let's answer this power drift 
a team of 26 members as of now has seen a long journey. They have faced a lot of criticism and bullies. If the stories of the Google are to be believed, then it's really commendable that the way they have managed to be unbiased. Each of their content speaks nothing but the truth. The sole aim of Power Rift to show the true colors, the raw nature of Indian motoring scenario is reflected in each of their content. This is now appreciated globally, which proves nothing but Power Drift has definitely built their own space in the industry and Power Drift has definitely influenced many of us. Power Drift has always strived to get the latest but accurate contents to its viewers. With no greed but just the passion. This genuine passion of Power Drift towards the machine on the wheels is something that makes them class apart. Power Drift has always shared the right content. Legally, it's okay in India to just wear a helmet. But Power Drift has always followed a strict code of riding gear, which has influenced its fans and followers towards a safer riding. Thank you.